Good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Nigel, and thank you for the kind introduction. So, I chose a very big title for my talk today. I talked about bravery in the business of life. That makes you guys think that I'm a brave person. Well, I agree it takes a bit of bravery to stand in front of all of you and do this, but I feel that with such a big title, I need to do something very brave. So, I'm going to take the PowerPoint ticker, and I'm just going to put it on the floor. I don't think we need that anymore. So, the way I see things is that we started uh, being an engineer, being a technologist, and now being an entrepreneur. I feel that it's the time for a lot of people to get inspired to actually challenge themselves and do things. We challenged ourselves a year ago, and we built a product called Voiceboard. The product isn't finished. Instead, it's a dream. And I want to share that dream with you today, because we're here to share dreams. And this is exactly what I had when I was thinking that wouldn't it be great if you could just say words and they would appear up on the computer screen or on the projector screen? You'd be able to ask for images and videos and just see those things appear in front of you. Just work naturally with computers. And we've seen this in films like Minority Report and Iron Man. And why is nobody making it real? Okay, challenge accepted. Let's see. So using just my voice and my hand gestures, uh, we'll see if this technology works. So, the, uh, the talk was of course entitled Bravery. So, bravery, I mean, I think there's a lot of different things, but I want to just ask a random question here while we have so many people. Something that I would never do, but I'm sure many of you have. How many people here have ever been bungee jumping? I see one, two, three. Is that Four? Ah, not so many, okay. So, four people have been bungee jumping. Um, oh, sorry. Okay, um, great. So let's try something that maybe more of us have done. Um, so, so a lot of times when we want to do something scary, when we want to do something that frightens us, we find it easier to do with other people. So let's talk about, like, for example, scary movies. Right? Everybody likes to go and watch a movie, a scary movie, but very rarely is a scary movie, um, is, it, is it generally something you want to go and do. It's usually something somebody else suggests to you, or you suggest to somebody else, but very rarely do you want to do it alone. So how many people here likes watching scary movies with other people? Well, okay, so maybe I was wrong. Okay. Half the room. Okay. Half the room. Uh oh. <laughs> I want to excuse myself for my bad English. Um, okay. 50% of the room. There we go. Um, so, um, so basically, like, Something I think is really important is to have that kind of ability to do things and, and watch those, those scary movies together. And one thing that symbolizes that for me is maybe a movie that we all recognize from our childhood. Uh, that movie is The Wizard of Oz. So we all remember these four characters, right? Dorothy, Tin Man, Scarecrow, and uh, of course the Cowardly Lion. And I'll come back to the Cowardly Lion in a second. So the, the first, uh, Dorothy had a dream, a big dream. Her dream was, let's take everybody and let's go to the Emerald City to visit the Wizard of Oz. Why? Because he can solve all of our problems. The dream was simple. It was, it was just a matter that Scarecrow, he needed some brains, and Tin Man, he wanted a heart, and the Cowardly Lion, but he wanted to find courage. So, if you want to go on these kind of journeys together, um, sometimes it's a lot easier when you join in with a team. And I think that's one of the most key factors when trying to be an entrepreneur. So, if we can jump out of this. Uh -oh. I want to talk a bit about my favorite character from the film, the Cowardly Lion. So, the Cowardly Lion, he was a lion, right? So the lion must be brave. Okay. 
So why does the lion lack courage? Well, he felt he lacked courage. And we all learned from the film that he went on this journey and actually he was brave. That's fine. So if he already was brave, where did that bravery, where, where was it first shown? For me, it was shown when he took that first step with Dorothy and the rest of the companions on the yellow brick road. He took that first step, he made that choice to start doing something a little bit different, to try and do something about becoming a bit more brave, to try and reach his ultimate goal, to go visit the Wizard of Oz who's going to solve all of his problems. Well, entrepreneurship and big dreams are just like this. Sometimes you have to make those big steps. So, I'm going to play two videos for you now. Um, the first video is basically to symbolize the dream. The dream of the voice board was just something that came out on the whiteboard. It was written down like, wouldn't it be cool if we could just talk to this? The second part of the dream was, um, uh, it was at the beginning of this year when we felt that, okay, so then how do, we, how do we get other people to get behind us? And we did one thing. We made a, a very quick PowerPoint presentation with a terrible animation in three days, faked it everything completely, went into a room and started waving our hands in front of a projector and saying, guys, this is the future. And everybody started applauding. Hopefully you guys will applaud later as well. So, um, so basically, you know, I saw this. I saw that, like, okay, wait a minute, this is the dream. I want to show you that part. The second part of the video I'm going to show you is what happened after that. After we had validation from our audience that, yeah, we were onto a good idea here and that we had taken that first step and they were encouraging us to take a second step and carry on with what we're doing. And you'll see what we did across the rest of the summer. So that was the first part of the video. Um, and then the second part, you're going to see what happened for the rest of the summer when we just started working extremely hard day and night to start making things happen. And again, this is a team of Armenians. Okay, thank you very much. So, um, stepping from there, uh, let me just jump over to the next slide. We took what was just a concept, just a sketch of the kind of idea, and I can tell you, uh, at least on behalf of the, the co-founders that I work with, um, we were able to go stand in Russia, in St. Petersburg, be at the Imagine Cup, where the key motto of the Imagine Cup is, uh, let me check, dream it, build it, live it. And actually feel that that's exactly what we're doing every day with our lives. And I can tell you that we were there this year presenting with the rest of this Armenian team on an international level. There is no reason why Armenia cannot be the, the country that's producing the world's next technologies and the applications are going to change everything. And you just have to have that dream, build it, and then live it. And of course, the amazing team that goes with it. So I just want to finish up by maybe referring to uh, a new sort of story that I like, which is kind of the story of entrepreneurship for me. A lot of people look at these big dreams and they think, wow, that's amazing, you know? And I can tell you that um, just before I started this company, uh, I think it's, it's more than just coincidence that we're now back in the same place that I used to work. I was here as the IT manager two years ago 
uh, helping build this place from the ground up with the rest of the amazing team here. And realizing that, okay, I'm here later, and how did I get this far? Um, and it was, it was a matter of taking this first step. So when you have a big dream, sometimes they say, okay, let's pick a dream that everybody can refer to. We'd all like to have a million dollars in our accounts tomorrow. How do we get to having a million dollars in our bank accounts tomorrow? Well, that step seems so far away, it's something like crossing the Grand Canyon. It's just such a far thing to achieve. And the only way I can suggest that you do it is take the first step, take the second step, and start walking down the canyon. And sometimes it is a first step down. Keep walking until you get to the bottom of that canyon. And you know what? Things will start turning the other way and you'll start walking upwards. You'll start climbing up the other side until you achieve what it is you want to achieve. You're on the other side of the canyon. You look back over to this side and you see all these faces staring at you going like, how did you make that happen? And you go, oh, it's easy. You just jump over, it's easy, come on. But actually, you know, you have to learn the magic of it. The magic is taking those steps, one step at a time, and everything can happen. So I want to leave you with this to take home. If you take the first step, the second will follow. You don't need to be brave. You, don't need, you were never born brave. And the most important thing is bravery comes through experience. It comes through working around people that can encourage you, stand by your side. The moment you want to break down and cry, they will stand there and they will say, don't worry, let's go. Don't be frightened, here we go. And I work around some amazing people every day. Actually, I always have. And that's how I've managed to achieve everything I've done. And I think that the same can go for everyone. Make that first step and that's all the bravery you need. Just the decision to be a lion and say, yes, I'm supposed to be brave. That is my life and I can make this first step. And with that, the world is yours. Thank you very much.